Okay, Hermione, where are we? According to my GPS, we are in Juneau, Alaska. New Orleans, we're in New Orleans! <sighs> Set location point, Hermione. Café du Monde. We're getting coffee in the French Quarter, Hermione. Bertie, stop it. Humidity must be messing with your circuits. Um, Cyrus, it's just a robot. You know that, right? Back off, Brindley. Hermione means a lot to him. No, she doesn't, Holiday. She's... It, it's just a robot. A robot you built with Casey. It's okay to be worried about her, Cy. I, I'm not. I don't even know if it was actually Casey who called me. It could have been Angelica Graves trying to trick me. R regardless, the likelihood of me ever seeing Casey again is... Okay, done with the tragic longing. Here come Mom and Dad. Finally! I can't wait to try a begnet. It's pronounced beignets, French donuts. Why you gotta hate, Brentley? Those clouds look nasty. We better head out if we want to get to Thornton Russ before sunset. Excuse me, friend. Ah, creepy lady! We don't have any change, okay? I don't want your money, girl. Uh, well... Ignore her, please. Did you say you're headed to Thornton Rust? That's right. You've heard of it? Thornton Rust is no place to bring children. It's haunted. Say what now? Ooh, a haunted house. Fun. It's far from fun, little one. No one has set foot inside the Maison for many years. The last poor souls who went in never came out. Okay. Thanks for the warning. I tell you, the spirits who reside at Thornton Rust are restless. Says my sister. Do not scoff, boy. Come on, lady. Ghosts aren't real. Trust me, young man. If you trespass on the grounds of Thornton Rust, you'll never utter such words again. Mom, Dad, what do you think? Well, New Orleans is known for its ghost stories. Miss, if you... Huh? Hey, where'd the lady go? She was right here. She just disappeared? For the record, walking in the rain is my worst nightmare. My hair is going to be a total first ball. I thought losing first chair in oboe was your worst nightmare. You think snarky comments like that get under my skin? But in fact, they make me stronger. Um, guys? I think we're here. Mom, Dad, catch up! I can barely see the house from the street. A light would be nice. Well, the gate says Thornton Rust. We all see the no trespassing sign, right? It's so old and rusty. Look, someone scratched something into the sign. With what? Their fingernails? Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. What if you never had any hope to begin with? Here come Mom and Dad. So much for staying together. Some of us aren't, you know, 12. Okay, you're old, we get it. Whatever, you're here now. We're not old. Monica. Right, I guess this is it. Thornton Rust. What's left of it? <gasps> really, Mother Nature? Creepy old crumbling mansion isn't enough? You need to add spooky thunder? Holiday, any of this look familiar to you? Not so much, Mom. But I still have that sinking feeling. Maybe because we are basically on the set of a horror movie. You know that saying that makes it worse, right? So, are we going in or what? James, maybe we should find a motel, get out of the rain, come back once the sun is out? Good plan, Dr. A. No, we can't leave. Sure we can. Watch. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. Trust me, I want a bolt. But I know this house played a major role in my past. And Badger's. Something bad happened here. I'm sure of it. I can't leave until I find out what. Cool, let us know. No, Brinley. Holiday's right. If we have any chance of getting back to our old lives in Juno, Thornton Rust is the key. Besides, I know it sounds weird, but I have a feeling it's never sunny here. There's a happy thought. Help me with the gate. On three. One, two, three. Uh, open sesame. James, do you really think it's safe to go in? It's just an old abandoned house. That strange lady was right about one thing. Looks like no one has been here for years. 
except maybe ghosts. I don't think that's funny. Don't tell me you're scared. No, I'm not scared. Dr. Monica Anders, logical scientist, is afraid of ghosts? I'm not afraid of ghosts. I'm afraid of your bad comedy. Come on, Holiday. Let's go look around. Right behind you, Mom. Fine. But if the words get out suddenly appear in blood on the walls, I will run faster than Badger ever could, and you'll never see me again. Can we stop talking already and just go inside? Look out, ghosts. Here we come. Uh. I'll go inside first. Nice work on the flashlight, Thyreth. Ex-Cub Scout to the rescue, again. <laughs> You're never an ex-Cub Scout, Birdie. Sure are lots of cobwebs. Ah! What happened? Brinley, are you okay? One touched my face! Oh, for the love of... Really? I walked right into it! <laughs> Even got my mouth! Moving on. This place is old. It's like a museum of untouched artifacts from the 1800s. <coughs> Covered in dust. <coughs> Check out all these old paintings. Who are all these people, I wonder? I don't know, but their eyes are definitely following me. I'm the one who's afraid, James? Startled by the lightning, that's all. D -d dad I saw someone in that mirror. Tell me it was your reflection. Tell me! Last I checked, I was not a crazy-looking lady with an eye patch. What? Okay, that's it. We are done. Brinley, calm down. Bird, I think you might be imagining things. Sure. You're just all worked up, honey. She was a real mom. I know she was. She winked at me, or maybe blinked. What do you call it when you only have one eye? We should split up to make this go faster. Okay, that's like rule number one of what not to do in every horror film ever made. Do not split up. Would you stop it? It's fine. You and I will check out that room over there with Cyrus while Mom, Dad, and Birdie look in this one. It sounds good, Holiday. Let's keep talking to each other nice and loudly so we know everyone's okay. Good idea, Mom. Come on, guys. The floor feels weird in here. Like, unstable. It's definitely creaky. Kinda reminds me of ice skating in Juno. You know, when the ice starts cracking under your feet. Ah! The floor! 